Starting now, this is Real People. Real issues, real news, real people. I'm Stephanie Allensworth, and this is Real People. This is Real People. Hi, welcome to today's show. I'm here with Roger Cravi, who is a sports collector, and he has a very interesting item he'd like to share with us today. Obviously, it's about hockey. So welcome, Roger. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, so tell us a bit about uh, your big find here. Well, I'm a, a old hockey player, an old goalie, and collector of various sports memorabilia. And I collect, I, I like old wooden hockey sticks. Uh, to me, it's, it tells a story. That it's almost folk art. And so I, I'm always on the lookout for them, garage sales. I happen to go in uh, at 50th and Xerxes, an antique store, hunt and gather, and I was just walking through the basement, and in the corner there was a kind of a tub with some old hockey sticks sticking out and some other things, and I saw this one and I knew right away that it was something special. And so I bought it. Did they know it was something special? I don't believe so. Yeah, I mean, oh. it was. Just, it was just. You know, it it's was always better that way, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I I bought it immediately, and then just started to do the research, and that kind of has started this whole story on this yeah. hockey stick. Yeah. So your hockey stick is actually going to the Hockey Hall of Fame next week, is it? Correct. Uh, it, probably by the time this airs, this <laughs> this hockey stick will will be either on its way to or in Eveleth, which is the home of the United States Hockey Hall of Fame. Right. The U.S. Hockey Hall. Yeah. Which Minnesota, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so they were interested in it. I I happen to actually from my hockey days know the the director of the hall up there, and I'm going to loan it to them for display. Okay, so on loan. Yeah. Do you have to yeah. insure it? I'm just curious. You know, I've just emailed him today to try to find <laughs> out because I'm not sure either. You know, yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, you could, we, we don't really even know a value, so but we'll probably have to figure something. But out. you know how old it is here and about, right? Yes. Um, yeah. We believe, and, and I say we because I've been in contact with many experts and people, even people who study wood. Um, uh, we we believe it's from the, the mid 1880s. So about 1885, give or take. And that is the same time frame or decade that organized hockey as we know it started. So wow. it goes back to the very beginning of, wow. the game, of the organized game that we know now. You know. And this is the condition it needs to stay in, right? You don't want to clean it up. You don't want to sand it. You don't want to paint no, it. No, we don't want to do. I think people make those mistakes a lot. Right? Yeah, yeah. They uh, say, oh, I want to, I want to, I got to varnish it and, you know, yeah, and protect yeah. it. No, as a matter of fact, when I when I contacted the the Hockey Hall of Fame, he said, well, you better get some white gloves when you pick it up from now on. I yeah. think that's crazy, yeah, but uh, we'll yeah, the oils we'll from touch your hand. it tonight. That's oh, yeah. fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, oils from your hand, stuff mm -hmm. like that. So right, yeah, yeah. This right. needs to stay as as is, as found. Mm -hmm. you know? So I'm assuming they'll put it under glass up there. Yeah, they, he, yes, I, I gave him some measurements, and so yeah. I think he's, he's building a display piece to incorporate it with hopefully some other old, very old Minnesota uh, hockey memorabilia that oh, they have. Oh, fun, yeah. fun. So what are, you have some other really fun things here, too. I, um, but I don't want to distract you too much. If you want to go in more on, on uh, the hockey stick and maybe kind of pick it up so people can see it a little bit? For sure, uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, this is just part part of my collection. Yeah. I, I, you know, this is mid-1950s hockey gear, as, uh, you yeah. know, as it was back then. Mm -hmm. Very crude, felt, leather. Cut, cut a lot of pucks in yeah. there, right? <laughs> yeah, but, but I love it. And same with the yeah. goalie pads. They're, they're right. all mid-1950s, you know. Yeah. Um, the stick itself, I, I'll, I'll pick up. I yeah. believe at one time it was it was displayed on a wall with some other sticks, only because there is some yellow paint oh, on the back, right. uh, which I've not tried t to remove. Yeah. You know, I, I just need to leave that. Um, so that it's very light, very light. You know, it's mm -hmm. it, it's uh, uh, the, the wood it was made from is uh, American elm, and obviously it's been drying for a hundred and. I don't know, 20, 30 years. Yeah. So it's, it's dried out, it's very light. Um, Is that considered a hardwood? Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, like yes, oak, yeah, or? yeah, 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 elm. Because I can imagine how fragile it would be just yeah. to have a wooden stick on the rink, right? For sure, and that's why not, take, not a lot a, of these... They take a beating. Well, they didn't survive, yeah, they yeah. broke, and then yeah. you burned them with gas kindling. Oh. Uh, and then, but, but this one, um, when hockey, 
the first advertisement I saw for hockey sticks was about 1900, and they were advertising them as rock elm, and rock elm is a harder wood. Oh, okay. So when sticks started being mass produced, it was using rock elm. This, I had a guy take a sample, it's American elm, and he said that is a softer wood, mm -hmm. so this never would have been okay. a stick that was mass produced. And that's good in the fact that it, it's very old. You know, mm -hmm. it, it was either handmade. Oh, it looks handmade. Um, you know, I mean, when you look at yeah, it, it does. Yeah, and, and the one thing that everyone had pointed out to me is this distinctive little this, Notch. this little knob right here. Yep. Right? Whoever made it at the time, you can tell there was a knot in the wood probably, and he mm -hmm. just he just carved around that. And I, I contacted a historical sports society in New York, and he just went crazy over the stick. You know, he he went crazy over the the uniqueness of this. He he said, I've I've never seen anything like it. I'm sure it's oh. the only one. You oh, know? so the other sticks don't have that? No, no, ah. no. This is just unique to this. Okay. Um, and the, the photos are just showing mm -hmm. the style of sticks used right. back they're, in the But they're definitely the, the same style. Correct, yeah. 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 And size. And size. It's very yeah. short, but when hockey was just starting, it was evolving from bandy or shinny, you know, another game played on ice, uh, and, and very low. You know, the mm -hmm. sticks were very short, and if you look at these old pictures, and then they became taller about 18, mid, the mid-1890s and resemble the sticks we know of today. I see. So I guess the special people, thing about this is... The, it, the backs started going out, right? They're yeah, yeah. Out. How can you be bent over? <laughs> and so, yeah, sticks became taller, hockey became more evolved, mm -hmm. and we're where we are today, you know? Wow. So... Tell us more. What else do you have here? You, well, you've got these. You, we have a couple of uh, big sticks back here, yep. too, a little well, more of today's style. Correct. Right? Yeah. But these are goalie sticks. Aren't these they? are goalie sticks, yeah. right, with the wide. With Not the sure wide that parts. our audience can see them. No, but, um, that's yeah. just a uh, you know, 1960s. That's one of my old sticks from when I played, uh, probably about 1980. Oh, that's, high school? That, that's one of mine, yeah, ah, okay. yeah, back in the day. Nice. Um, and so, like I said, I just love anything old hockey. Yeah, and it's your number one thing that you look for. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, and to find this was it was a fun. Uh, Kurt Brown at the Star Tribune did a story on it in the paper that really started things rolling as far as people knowing about this. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I, I had a wood sample taken by a U of M professor. We determined what type it was. Uh, the, the guys in New York at the Sports Historical Society believe. It could be you know mid 1850 or 1880s, and if, okay. if that's the case, it, it could be the oldest known hockey stick in Minnesota, and or possibly the United States. Wow, maybe it was the very first hockey stick ever made. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> yes. I wonder how you could prove that. Yeah, that's the hard part. <laughs> yeah. It's hard, but I did a lot of research. You know, I, yeah. I I I spent hours and hours going through old photos, old documents, you know, A, just to see if I could find any th picture that had a little knob on a stick like that, yeah. which I couldn't, and B, to help date the stick, because that, that was kind of the hard part until I, I came across these photos online, really helped cool. narrow it down almost to a five-year period. Oh wow! In, in the really? Mid 1880s. Yeah. 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 So the transition between 19, or 1885 and 1893, when the slightly more traditional uh, uh, sticks came out. Right. Uh, longer ones. Yeah. They're still made of wood, though. Correct. Uh, one, yeah. Well, I mean, they're all made of wood. But. One piece of wood back yeah. in the day. Yeah. So this is one piece of wood. The end has just been heated up and literally bent. Ah, yeah, you, you, you can okay. see the grain come all, all the way around. So it's 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 one piece of wood. Yes. That is amazing. I didn't yeah. know they did that. And another mm. unusual thing about this I'll, I'll show is uh, um, it has warped a little bit from, from the years, but there's this unusual knob on the top. It's almost triangular, and it, feel, it almost feels like a piece is missing. It might have been done to help grip the stick, and a piece, though, might have fallen off many years ago. I just uh. I don't know if that was part of the design as well. Because normally mm. sticks are square. Right, and, right. And to have that missing piece also kind of raises a, a question as wow. well. Wow. Yeah, that's, that is interesting. I mean, if, if a piece came off, then somebody obviously sanded it down. Right, yeah. It's, um, it appears very worn, but so we don't know on, on that end of things why that's like that. Hmm. 
And you may never know uh, unless yeah, unless yeah, there's we, some way to uh, sh you know see it against other sticks where you know you might see another one just like that. But yeah, it, you obviously have a one of a kind because no other sticks have the notch. Right? It's not even a notch. I guess it's a it's a bump. Almost a decorative piece, <laughs> you know, yeah. because it serves no purpose. It, yeah, it, it's just. It, it, it just uh, sticks out. So, but so I was very fortunate, you know, to come yeah. across this and uh, add it to my collection. And I'm, yeah. and, and you know, it doesn't do any good sitting in my basement going no. in the dark. You know, I want to show it. So that's why I'm, I'm loaning it to the Hall of Fame. Right. And it'll be up there. Um, will you be? Will Will there be a big ceremony or anything? No, no? not necessarily. You know, I don't. I don't think so. It'd, it'd be cool, you know, yeah. if I could be up there for champagne and caviar. Yeah, you know, you know the, the, the big unveiling and yeah. stuff. So we'll yeah. see. You know, if he if he wants to do something, I'll I'll road trip I, I up there. I think you should. Yeah, yep. we would road trip up there yeah, too to go see it that. It would be fun to see. You know, um, it would really be neat. Uh, you know, Tom's family is a very heavy-duty hockey family. I mean, they're big, you know, big into all the games. They're, they're you always see them. I mean, they've even been, you know. Oh yes. <laughs> like he, I. I think Courtney actually once got to like try to hit a puck into the net uh, at, yeah. at a game. That's yeah, fine. yeah, um, yeah. So, um, what other kind of things do you look for when you're out antiquing? You know, I never know till it hits me. Literally, yeah. you know, I, I almost was hit in the head with that blade right there. Um, <laughs> I don't think it would have hurt you. <laughs> so, you know, I look for mainly mainly the vintage. Uh, Sport, sporting goods, and but by vintage, I'm, I'm I'm talking pre, pre 1960 even. You know, I'm talking about the very old stuff, the leather, the leather stuff. You know, right. and I sp specif specifically, sorry, uh, do hockey about yeah. 90 percent. You know, that, okay. that was my game. I have had 60, 70, 80 different vintage wood hockey sticks I've collected over the years. So, do you still have them, or I, do you I, still resell I, them? I, you know, you, you trade, and you know, oh, collectors okay. are always sure. uh, trading, uh, trading yeah. up or trading down, and or thinning out the collection. Thinning so, out. So uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't have all of them, but like, you know, I do have, I do have some of the wood hockey sticks, which I've always, yeah. always liked. Like I said, to me, it's a piece of folk art, you know. Yeah. I, I, yeah. It, it just tells a story. Well, so. in restaurants these days too, you know, you see a lot of memorabilia and sports memorabilia in places, you know, around town and the, uh, uh, you know, in the. Uh, Eateries, mm -hmm. so yes. um, that, that's always. I mean, like the, the show American Pickers. You know, these yes. guys go in and they're always looking for stuff. So you never know what you're going to come across no, and what no. it's worth. So uh, it, it's always interesting, though, to see what they think that they could sell it for. Yeah, um, and you never, you, you don't mm -hmm. know, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny, the Pickers. You know, they're, they're not sports guys. You know, and watching no. the show, you, they're more advertising and signs. Right. So I'm always looking in the background and say, you mm -hmm. should ask about that. Yeah. They would have walked. <laughs> Right by this, where, yeah. where, where, where me that that was like a not a holy grail, but just a, a real nice find Pretty close. For, for for hockey. So what would be the holy grail? <sighs> that's a good <laughs> question. I you know that's what I'm here for. <laughs> there's uh, what would what would be the best thing ever? It, it it would probably be, you know, a holy grail would probably be to to come across like a um, a hockey jersey. From a team like you know, um, one of the big teams back in the 1920s or 30s, where the jerseys were made of thick wool, you know, oh, yeah. wool, wool. Um, that's how they got the name hockey sweaters. They right, little, like no arenas they, they at that time, right? Yeah, that was outside. Yeah, um, 1920s or 30s original uh, jersey. You know, Minnesota hmm. Gophers, uh, a, a professional hockey team. You sure. know, with sure. lettering stitched on. Extremely valuable. They just aren't out there, you know. The ones that are out there are in museums. Wow. That. So you have other hobbies too, right? Um, are you yeah. still doing some of the other other things? I remember you were doing some brewing and oh, yes, things like yes, that. Yeah. Well, I, I I used to own a home brew store back right. uh, twenty some years ago yeah. to teach people how to make beer and wine. Uh, I don't have that anymore, but I. I still make my own beer and wine as a oh, hobby, very which nice. is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, and and other you know other than that, yeah, I, 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 I play drums in a band. You know, I'm still I'm still you know busy, busy ah. doing fun things. Are you and, still uh, playing hockey? 
I am not playing hockey. Oh. No, th those pucks are too hard now. <laughs> or I, maybe my bones are too soft. One, yeah. one of the two. We've but, all gone soft. Over yes, the years. I know. And look at you know with this stuff, if it hits you, yeah. you're going to get hurt. Yeah. And this is the only stuff I have. So uh, <laughs> no, I retired from playing goalie twice. <laughs> twice. Well, you never know. You know, you could always come back for another round. Well, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, what, well, what else do you want to tell us? You've got, you've got lots of cool things that you do and you're into, and, um, you know, if there's more here on the hockey stick and, uh, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. how long do you think it'll be up there at the Hall of Fame? I'm not sure when he'll put it out. I'm, it's going up this month. I don't know that it's going on display right away. I, I don't mm -hmm. know what his plans are for it, mm -hmm. but hopefully it'll be on display by the you know, end of the year uh, before hockey season hits up there. because. Mm -hmm. You know, it's way up north, but they're, they're they're busy. You know, there's arenas up there, and it's a big mm -hmm. hockey town. So I'm, yeah. I'm hoping it's up by f f late mid to late fall, and as long as they want to keep it out, you know, they might yeah. rotate displays oh, in I and see. out. I see. And uh, hmm. so may, so he might call and say, it's now. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's now. On. You should definitely ensure it. I would. You you have no idea. You know. If, you yeah, don't I, want it going up there and disappearing. Right, and, mm -hmm. and I assume that, uh, that, that they're, they know what they're doing as well. I'm mm -hmm. sure a lot of people loan things to the museum. So yeah. They probably have a, you know, paperwork in place as far as that as well. So Would you we'll, sell it if they wanted to buy it? I, 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 I don't know. You know, it I, depends on the price. I, well, yeah, like everything. <laughs> <laughs> What's your offer? Yeah. Uh, no, but you know, should it be in the Hall, Hall of Fame permanently? Probably, you know. Yeah, you know? yeah, I would so, think so. so I maybe, think people would come from all over to see it. I would so hope. That's, yeah, I hope so. You know, I hope it. I hope it just make the people who see it will see it and make them think of. The old their dad or yeah. their grandpa or whoever yeah. used to play, you know, Great way, way back and, when and mm -hmm. stuff. You know, kind of like the Leatherheads. Uh, exactly, yeah. George yeah. Clooney. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, th those those helmets they had yeah. for football at yeah. the time. Yeah, well, it was all leather. You know, there wasn't much right. padding. That, <laughs> that's how they got the name, the leather. Right. right. Um, so that, and that, that's just a time gone by. You know, that will never come around again. Well, thank so. goodness, because it really didn't add much protection. You know, no, it didn't no, protect it your neck, your no, head, or anything. No. So. And, and even when I played in the 1970s. It wasn't much protection, even. You know, the stuff yeah. wasn't. It just. You look mm -hmm. at a goalie today, and they're all yeah. decked out. You know, and you yeah, can't believe it. Yeah, they look like Darth it. Vader back there. Where these? This, <laughs> you know, this is this is heavy. Yeah, this is I heavy know, stuff. right? Can you imagine having all this on? Yeah, uh, it, it would. That's that. You know, weighs a good two pounds right well, there. Well, for sure. And then you have the Maybe pads three. that soak yeah. up water the whole game because oh. of their leather. Oh. And we used to say they'd be 60 pounds yeah. at the end of the game. <laughs> like and so, it, but that's all we knew. That's all we yeah. had. So. The last I know, checked, ice is hard. You know. It is hard, yeah. and the pucks too. Yeah, yeah the pucks and, are uh, hard too. So no, it's uh, it, it's interesting to me. I just like, yeah. like well, I think I was born, uh, you know, in the wrong century. They say, you know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe reincarnated. Possibly. From, you know, a, that, that, from that, a previous. That, guy could that, be was, that was you. That could be me. It could be, you know. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> so it's just fun to tell the story. You know, it's, uh -huh. it, it's a story that I've been t telling people and showing mm -hmm. people now for uh, last October is, is when, when I, you got it. Yeah, okay, is when so I, I was just so going to ask that. I haven't even had it a year. So it's kind oh. of whirlwind, you know, we're coming yeah. up on a year. Um, and, you know, the article in the paper came out the month after, and then the month after that, I was getting, having s samples done on it for wood types, and then the Hall of Fame I was in contact with, and yeah. that, you know, and so it's it's kind of been a, a, a fun whirlwind, you know, hmm. it's happened very fast, but. So when it comes back to your home, how do you keep it safe? How do you keep it from the oxygen? I just have a, a, a little, case I keep it in mm -hmm. you know Is, um, do you think that's enough or? I, you know I I do I guess mm -hmm. uh, uh, for now you know yeah. just to keep it out of the light and maybe some of the elements yeah hu humidity or you know yeah. uh, that that type of deal so yeah, I, yeah. so I just keep it locked in a little a little case so hmm. Well, maybe they can offer you some suggestions too when you bring it up there about how to care for it when right. it's back at your place. Right, because uh, you know yeah. it, it needs yeah. to be preserved for the yeah. next 120 years too. Right, hopefully, and, and by, you know, by somebody. You know, yeah, one of your children may 
inherit it and and do the same thing you're doing and take it out on tour. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. It, it would be fun. Like I said, it's more fun to show it off. Mm -hmm. You know, I know a lot of people who have unbelievable collections of stuff that is unbelievably rare, and he's the only guy who knows it. Yeah. It, it's 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 in his yeah, basement. Yeah, they don't want anybody touching it. It's in his it, garage. Yeah. It's in a closet. Yeah. You know, I. I, I'd like to show it off. Yeah. You know, I show uh, it off. Oh, I might have to go down to that store and poke <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just in there today again. Uh, yeah. Look at it's, digging through the yeah, stuff in nice the back store. there. It's a nice store. You never know what you're going to find. So uh, it's a nice store. Yeah. What one is it again? Uh, Hunt and Gather at 50th and Xerxes. Fit, okay. Um, oh, is that the one that's got all the really unusual things outside? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. 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 It's like they, some really old signage. Yeah. And some metal things. Yeah. Metal signs and yeah. Very unusual. It would look like a picker's dream, but it's oh, a yeah, store for sure. already. So. For sure. And and that's and that's a great store. Believe me, they know my face. I come in <laughs> at least once a week. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, just looking for uh, you know what might fuel me to yeah, add, add to my collection, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah you, I've it's, never been in there, but every time I drive by it, I think, God, that would be a great place you, to go browse. You should, you should. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot, lot of stuff packed in there. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I, well, even on the outside, you can tell that it's just packed on the inside. Yeah, it's a picker's dream. <laughs> yeah. Say, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I, uh, I'm kind of married to one, so uh -huh. he, he likes to go to the estate sales, okay. and, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I yeah. never know what he's going to come home with next, yeah. and it's like, I look around the house and go, where am I going to put that? <laughs> <laughs> We always find a place for yeah, it, though. Yeah, it, it's hard to sneak in, you know, big goalie <laughs> pads, so I, I'm Look busted. Look who followed me home, honey. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm busted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the opposite of the girl that goes shopping and has to hide it from her husband. Well, you know? yeah, like, yeah. I can't wait till they go to sleep and pull it out of the trunk. <laughs> well, we have a few minutes. Is there anything yeah. else you want to share? Let's see. Uh, it's part of the story of the stick. Uh, well, a story. I could Sorry. tell you just a little bit off off the stick is I just had picked these up. I mean, I'm going to mm -hmm. mention these. I, I just brought these to kind of decorate the, the set with. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I picked these up on that, <laughs> that uh, website online that starts with an E and, okay. and ends uh -huh. with a bay. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. and, and, and I happened to get uh, th this glove uh, made by Cooper Weeks in Canada. This is uh, was an old blocker, literally felt covered by CCM in Canada, and the goalie pads you see down here too. Uh huh. And I bought them from a, a woman whose father. Uh, oh, you used met them all them. at the same place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He played for the the University of Minnesota team in like 1956 or 57. Were they still the Gophers then? Yeah, the Gophers, okay. the 56, 57 team. And then wow. uh, and then he moved. They moved to Omaha, and he he. he he played for some some teams out in Omaha as well, and they were just mm. downsizing and going through his stuff. And lo and behold, I happened to come across this on 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 that site. You know, we call eBay, um, and uh, all of it. You know, all four pieces were for sale for for one one good good price, and, oh. uh, and it was a buy it now. So I just I bought it and. I've kind of been in contact with her ever since because I wanted to find yeah. out more about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like finding a story. Obviously, behind yeah. everything mm -hmm. I have, you know, mm -hmm. and and this is decor, but it, there's a story here, you know. There's do do they offer any documentation? I mean, because it was his his items, then maybe they could write something for you and sign it just to kind of prove that that's where it came from. I yeah. don't know if and it's... We've been in contact, yeah. and I told her if she if they come across any photos mm -hmm. of him wearing this, yeah. a mm -hmm. picture is worth a thousand words. Well, you know? when I watched, you know, that antique show. Uh, on television, you know, usually if you have some sort of backup material about something, it's more valuable. Correct. So, like the photos yeah. or a letter from somebody, or, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, so, background. boy, it's really too bad you can't get something like that on the stick and find out where it came from. Yeah, and, and, and have I, you seen this stick? I, you could do. Like <laughs> <laughs> have you seen me? <laughs> I did talk to uh, the person I bought it from. Um, I did ask her if sh she knows where it came from. Mm. And, sh and she said, well, she goes to so many auctions and farm auctions and sales. She's like, I, I just don't recall where, where that came from. So, so you know, going back, mm. we, we can't go back. It's all, it's all research. Yeah. And speculation you, right but uh, but we I believe that I found out a lot about it considering there's no history of it yeah you know, that, 
Well, you can you can build a story around it. You know, just your own story about how you found it. You know, will become a fun story yeah, for yeah. others to tell and for your your daughter to tell. And uh, you know, should she end up with it someday? You know, if she's interested. But why not? You know, I would. I, you know, I would hate to see it though up on you know somebody's mantle, up, you know, on the wall or something. You know, it would have to be like in a gun case behind a locked door. <laughs> and what fun is that? You yeah, know? exactly. So, Again, then you get down to well, nobody's seen it. So yeah, no, I want to. I want to yeah. share it. You know, I, I, mm -hmm. I think it's something. Like you're, 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 uh, you saw it and everyone here just when they, I opened the, the case up and they, you uh, guys yeah. went crazy because like, that's a hockey you, stick? you've no. never seen, <laughs> you haven't seen anything like it really. Never. You know? mm -mm. And so that's, that's the fun part. It'd be like holding up something like that and saying it's a baseball bat from, you know, the 1700s or and 1800s. Right. And it so. uh, almost looks like it's that old. Yeah. But, uh, right. Um, and so it's, like I said, it's fun to tell the story, to show people. I think that's what it's about, you know, it's not squirreling it away in some collection. Yeah, yeah, I don't see that either. Do you, so do you have a one room where you keep your collection? Um, you know, kind of, you know, I mean, yeah. you know, the basement, <laughs> the corner of the basement I have. To, and, and it's really He's allocated not, one little room for well, you there, I, little I, spot. I, well, I have, we kind of have a music room too, mm -hmm. and it's kind of fun to oh, have yeah. uh, guitars and drums and stuff on the wall. And, oh, know, yeah, and, and yeah. so that's. I would definitely decorate like that, you know. Yeah. I, and I have my own little music corner too where mm -hmm. I have my stuff laid out. Oh. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I, I could have a sale down there too, yeah. you know, and I've been thinning out a little. Thinning out? Really? You yeah. sell some of your stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we have just a little bit of time left, so any last words? No, I'm, I'm uh, well, I guess I'll say that I was ha ha I'm happy that I was able to come on and share the story. Well, of of the the stick and on my collection a little bit. It's been uh, really fun. I'm, I've been having a great time talking about it. Well, know. I'm I'm so happy that you came on, Roger. This has been Stephanie Allensworth and Roger Crowby with Real People. Thanks for joining us.